Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP laptop. This one is an HP 14 FQ0028 and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can upgrade the RAM or remove the RAM on your laptop. This laptop comes with an 8 gig RAM or sometimes they come with a 4 gig RAM. You can upgrade up to 16 gig with no issue and I made a really short video showing you guys how you can find that your maximum RAM capacity without installing any files or any programs. And that video link is in my video description. You can take a look. And in this video, I'm gonna go over how you can do that process, how you can upgrade. And by removing the RAMs, you're not gonna uh, change anything in the system or any files not gonna be lost or anything like that. All you need to do is to turn off the laptop and get it started. First thing first, I'm gonna go over the tool that I'll be using. You need a good screwdriver set. I always recommend a good screwdriver set like an iFixit screwdriver set because these are made of S2 class steel. That means they do last you many years of opening screws. And if you get the pro set, they will include you an opening tools, tweezers, and a few, few other stuff. The bit that we're gonna be using is a Phillips number one from this tool set. And for the opening tool, you can use a guitar pick. Uh, metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers, which I'll recommend you guys. All right, with these two on hand, we're gonna get it started. First thing first, once you flip it upside down, you're gonna see a few screws, two screws on the front end of the laptop and two on the side on the bottom. Now, and there are two types of screw, few types of screw. The short ones are the front end of the laptop, so remove these ones right away. These are the short ones, the one in the front, keep them in one pile. And then we're gonna expose the rest of the screws that are hidden under the rubber legs at the back and the front. To remove the rubber legs, all you need to do is to put the opening tool right at the bottom of the plastic and lift it up and bring it up in 45 degree angle. Do not go over, otherwise you're gonna crack or break the rubber. Bring it in 45 and attach it to the side. I'm gonna put a right cross so you can focus out of focusing. All right, and next you wanna do the same thing in here. Grab it from one corner, bring it up in 45, and put it on the side. There is one screw in the front end, which is the same size and height as the one on the side and the one in here. And there are two black screws, one on each corner for the hinges. Go ahead and remove them and keep them in a separate pile. Also, if you guys like my videos and you want to support the channel, you can do that by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comment area. I appreciate that. All right, now that we removed the screws, so we got the black screws, the medium screws, and the two short screws in the front. Once we remove these screws, now all you need to do is to open up the laptop a little bit, the screen. And we want to stick the opening tool or the guitar pick in this case between the palm rest and the bottom cover just like that. And all you need to do is to pull it back like this and you want to hear a tiny click. You want to do this every few centimeters. You're not breaking anything. You want to hear those clicks. Those are the clips that are getting loose. You want to do that all the way in the front side and the left and the right side. So I'm sticking right there and I'm working my way to the back corner and I'm hearing those big loud clicks. So there we go. Once you got it pretty much the left and the right and the front, you want to put it down, grab the front side that you already loosened it up, bring it up, run your hand all the way to the back corner, grab it from the corner, you can hold the hinge down with your thumb and pull this side up, wiggle it around and it will release the back row. And then simply work it around and you will remove the bottom chassis. And right away you can see the RAM dims right here and there's only one RAM, this is a DDR4 RAM, there's an 8 gig DDR4 RAM right there. So I'm gonna put it in this position. All right, to remove the RAM, all you need to do is to put your two fingers at the side of the triggers and pull them away and the RAM will come out in 45 degree angle. And all you need to do is to grab it in the same 45 degree angle and slide it out. You do not want to lift it up towards the ceiling, otherwise it's not going to come. I can even hold the ladder. You can crack the dim or crack the ramp. 
So always pull it back in 45 degree angle. When you have the new ram in, make sure the notch on the ram matches the notch on the dim. So if I try to put it the other way around, it will simply not go through. So put it in the right position in a 45 degree, bring it towards the dim and simply push it towards the motherboard and you're gonna hear these two triggers clicking, just like that. They open and they will close. So you don't have to do anything else. Again, to remove, pull it away. The RAM comes in 45, detach. And if you wanna place the new RAM in here, doesn't matter the RAM, the RAM chips, doesn't matter if it's on both sides or on one side, as long as the notch is matching the dim. Bring it in 45, all the way to the dim, make sure it goes all the way in and then towards the motherboard, just like that. So you can grab, put your new, leave the RAM in here, put another eight gig right here, and then power on the laptop. You do not need to uh, put the cover to power it on. You can put the new RAM in here and power it on, wait five to 10 seconds. And if you don't get a uh, screen within five to 10 seconds, then you wanna power it off, remove both of the RAMs, place the new RAM in here, and then power on, once you get the logo, you wanna power it off and then uh, place the old RAM on the second dim and then again power it on and give it five to 10 seconds for the motherboard to do a RAM check. Again, most people say like, you have to remove the battery to do this. You do not need to remove the battery to do RAM upgrades or remove your hard drive or your Wi-Fi board or anything like that unless you're doing a maintenance. No need to remove the battery to do this process. If you do remove the battery, you're gonna get a message saying that the CMOS chip is reset to default. It's not a big deal, but your BIOS configuration will be reset to the factory. So do not remove this if you don't want any more configuration. All right, once you have the RAM upgraded, all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover, the port that you have the HDMI side, USB-C, you wanna scoop that right under and hold it down and push it down. Make sure you hit that tiny click and then push the other side push the corner front and the front side, the back, and you wanna hear those tiny clicks. And then you can open it up and you wanna see a tiny openings in here in the front on the side. You just wanna simply pinch them together and it will go to its place. You wanna hit that click on the side, at the back corner, right there. And then last thing would be to just put the screws in place and put the rubber legs back in its place. I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If it did, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. If you have any comments, if you have any question or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video. I'm just gonna finish up putting up the screws on the bottom.